take it away, Jack. All right. Hi, guys. Hopefully, you guys have me pinned or speaker view. Um, so, yeah, you will see me better. Um, so, supplies. I have a canvas, but you guys can use um, anything you guys have to paint on, um, any paper you bought. All right, yeah, so I have a canvas. Oh, Gabby has her easel. That's cool. All right, and I have a paper plate, and that's what we're going to score our paint on. I have a mini one. I didn't have a big one, so I might have to use two. But if you have a big one, perfect. And then our paint. Yellow. Black. Red. Blue. You can't really see that. Blue. And white. So just your primary colors and black and white. And then for brushes, we need big, medium, and a small one. So just three brushes. Your paper towel, because you need to dry off your brushes. Your cup of water. I have water in mine. So if you don't have water in it, go put water in there. And then some Q-tips, cotton swabs. Um, I have 15, that's all you need, 15. And that's all the supplies we need for this. I think I got everything, yes. And I'm going to show you what we are painting. So we're painting this tree here. Um, it kind of has the effect that it's blowing in the wind, but that's what the Q-tips are for, and that's how we're going to get that effect of the little dots. So this is the painting we're doing. We're going to start now. So if you guys are ready, we're going to start. So first, we're going to paint the blue background. I did this a little dark right here, but it's up to you. Any color blue you have, any color. So I'm going to probably go lighter than this. So I need a lot of white. So we're gonna put white on our paper plate, white paint. I'm gonna show you how much I'm putting. Probably just this much on my plate of white. This is just for me to have a lighter blue, but if you want a darker uh, background blue or you already have a light blue, that works perfectly fine too. And then my dark blue right here, just my regular color blue and just um, probably that much on my white so I can get this light blue effect. And then your big brush. If it's not wet already, you will want to wet that in your cup and then pat it down on your paper towel. So wet brush first, yes? Yes. Okay. And not too wet, um, just damped a little bit. You don't want it to, uh, you want it to be bendy. Not dry. Say that again, Gabby. What do we have to do? So <laughs> on the clay? We need to do our uh, blue background. So whatever blue you have, you can just use. And if you want it really light, I'm going to go for a light background blue. So I just have white paint and a little bit of blue. Uh, I don't know how to open these paints. Do they have little pop tops? All right. And when you guys have that, just go ahead and mix it up. Get that color blue you like. You can fix the color if you want, adding more blue or white. When you have the color you like, you love, go ahead and paint your whole canvas blue. Whole thing. Oh no. Did you get your paints open, Gabby? No, my paint, my pencil's tip is blue. That's all right. Just wipe it off on your paper towel. Hey, uh, you don't mind if I sound do something different, do you? Not at all. Do what floats your boat right now. Okay. Your whole canvas blue. So Jack, the Shandy ladies just got here. You just want to do a quick, like, just summary of what you're doing. Okay. I'm just going to sketch and draw. Right. So, so far, what I'm going to do is, whatever you're painting on, your canvas or paper, I'm painting the whole background blue. And how I got this light blue, I just put some white paint on and added a little um, blue that I had to make it light. 
and we're just painting the whole background blue right now. And we're using our big brush. Make sure you wet it before you use it. My blue is not as light as I wanted it to be, but it's beautiful. Jen? Yes? Can I say something to Gabby right quick? I have, I have the exact same paint. Oh yeah, go ahead. Um, Gabby, so when, when you open your other colors, you don't have to poke your pencil, just turn the, the cap around and there's a little pokey thing in there, you just poke it and it opens. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, Hermanda. I'm not using a canvas and my paper's getting curly. <laughs> you guys are going too fast. We're just painting. We're just painting. Yeah. We'll wait for you. I'm not a fast painter. Well, you had problems opening your paint, so you got a step behind, but it's fine. Everyone's painting. We're good. <gasps> it's a gray blue. Yay. Put it on there, girl. <laughs> It's okay, Gabby, you got time because we have to let this background dry before we go to the next step. Okay. So you got time. Can someone play music? Oh yeah, maybe. Let me work on that. Jack. Yeah. Who's the girl next to you? <laughs> That's my little sister. Hi. She's so cute. Jade. Is she going to paint? She is. She doesn't know what she's doing yet, but she is going to paint. She wants to watch you guys. Yay. So show her after. So background blue. And we're going to need this to dry. And if you have a canvas with the edges, you can paint that blue too. It's up to you while you're waiting for it to dry. Can you hear the music? Yeah. Okay, good. I'll turn it down when it's time to be serious. Canvas, um, Lou. Yeah, your entire canvas. Okay. Oh. Nice, Maurice. You're gonna paint the whole thing blue. Watching everybody paint. It's so fun. <laughs> you guys are great. Finish your blue, you can rinse off your big brush. Oh, good to know. Thank you. Can I let it dry a little bit? It's like blue Kool Aid. Don't drink it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't drink the blue Kool-Aid. <laughs> How fun is this music? It's perfect painting music. Nice, Jason. Nice shade of blue. I like that. When you guys are done, like look up at the screen every once in a while so we know. <laughs> Stare at Jack. <laughs> to the music when you're done. <laughs> when everyone's dancing, we'll know. <laughs> Charles, you got it in you. Charlie. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Perfect. Right. Charles is done. How's it going, guys? Still doing the blue background, anyone? I am. Gabby? So, okay. And Sonia. 
some toes. Doing Sonia and Gabby, you guys close? I'm good. Hi, Sonia, good. Gabby, how's it coming? This is, this is as far as I got. Nice, Momo. Perfect. Yeah, I got my favorite towel. Okay, for um, done. waiting. Okay, now we need our black paint. I think everyone's done, right? With the blue? Yeah. Okay, black paint. And then you're gonna put some on your plate. I just put this much. Little dollop. And then your big brush again. What we're doing is um, a little hill right here. So that's what we're painting next. So you don't want to dip your whole big brush in there, just the um, tips of it. So you're just going to get the tip black. So it's thin, so we can draw our line first to see how we want our um, hill. So just probably like a quarter of the way of your canvas paper that you have. You're gonna start here. And you're just gonna give it little curves and you're going in a down motion. So you're ending down like this. What if the paint's not dry on the first one? Um, is it halfway up or? No, it's probably just like a quarter. Um, mine just looks a little, it's my little board, if you have a bigger one. But yeah, not halfway, a little under half, I would say. Okay, once you guys have this, from here and down, you're going to paint it all black. Okay, with your black. Um, my paint's not dried yet. Okay, I think it should be okay because the black is overpowering. Who's name? So you can just paint. Yeah. It. Hi, Jack. Hi. Welcome back. Hello. We had Hello, Todd. we had to we got out. And we had <laughs> to we had to come back in. So what are we we didn't hear what you're doing right there? Yeah, so now we're um, getting our black paint and we're putting it on to your plate and I just put a little bit like that. Okay. And then if you rinse your big brush, just the tip of the brush. brush, you're gonna dip it in the black paint, just the tip, and under halfway of your paper or canvas that you have, you're gonna draw a, like a little hill, just marking where you're gonna be having all your hill painted um, and then you're going curving and going downward to have this. Okay. Oh, I see it. We don't have all the colors you're using, so we're, we're improvising. Okay. Just anything so, dark. Yeah. And then that this will be all middle. black. See how she's doing? Oh, I see she's starting in the middle. No. no. Okay, take the hill. Take the line down. Yeah, there you go, Gabby. You just paint all that black on the bottom now. Where's the music? It's there. I was letting it I was letting Jack talk. I'll turn it back up.
And then you can clean your black brush if you're done. Rinse it off. Um. I might have to go rinse my water after this one. So cute. <laughs> Whoa, Jason. Wow, Jason. Killing it. Always. I'm going to let it dry first. Look yeah. at mine. Nice, Gabby. Looks good. Perfect. Looks like mine. <laughs> <laughs> but big of mountain. <laughs> oh, yeah. What color is next after it dries? Um, I'll let everyone know when they are ready. <laughs> yes, my Jack, I lower my lower my screen. Oh yeah. Nice, Mo. <laughs> Thank you. We get to like this music. <laughs> it's perfect painting music, right? Indeed, yes. You can use any kind of music. This You're music right. is boring. Yeah, it's happy. Yeah. Oh, Amanda's using colored pencils. Good idea, Amanda. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Make sure your Q-tips are there. If you don't have them, go grab them if you have them in the house. But that's the next step, using the Q-tips. I got my done, Jackie. Perfect. <laughs> I got my done. Can I see it? What do you have so far? Hold on. I'll get it. If it's easy to grab. I have to get up a chair here. <laughs> Oh, nice. Purple background. Hey, hey. Love it. Ooh. That's actually perfect. Green. Oh, no, get it. <laughs> I love it, Toddles. You don't need me call me Toddles. Toddles, Toddles. <laughs> <laughs> My birthday's yesterday. <laughs> oh, happy birthday. Um, I'll be I'll be forty four next year. 
Woo! I'm getting there. <laughs> You're almost caught up. Yeah, you were older than me. <laughs> I'm a whole year older, two years older than you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ginger old as me, two ears. <laughs> right, is anyone else still working on the Black Hill? You are Brandon. Hi, Ireland. Remember me from sports? My mom worked you out. Steve Stern. Hi. Uh, do you know Gabby from BVDC? Oh, Gabby's in there too. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Debbie. Hi. How you doing? Good. Can I see that picture? Yes. It's right here. Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> How's your mom doing? Good. What's she doing? Are you guys ready for the next step? Yes, we're ready for the next step. Everyone's ready. Everyone's there. Ready for the next step. Okay. Who else is playing music so we don't have like two sets of music playing? How about Justin Bieber? <laughs> right. Of course you are, Sterling. Of course you are. All right. All right, you guys. We're going to let Jack keep us in the next part. All right, the next step is now our tree. We're ready for the tree. So we are going to go with red first. Get too much on there. Okay. Some red paint onto your paper plate. Are you listening to this? Yeah. You don't need um, too much at all. And once you have your red paint on your plate, you need five Q-tips, and we're going to bunch them up. So they look like that. We bunch them. We're just going to hold it together like that. Five Q-tips. And then hold it up so I can see if you did, um, you got it. If you don't have um, Q-tips or anything, you can use the bottom of your brushes that you have as well. Just bump them up. Have them perfect. Don't have them. Okay, so what you're gonna do is just dip it into your red paint. The tips. Make sure you get all the tips. Okay. Red paint. Holding it. Okay. And probably like right here. We're just gonna keep dabbing them like that. And I would say just go in like a U shape and not too thick as well because you need all the colors. <laughs> You're just dabbing it on. Just like that. Okay, if you look, 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 and that's probably good. all I'm going to use for the red. For this, would it be good to use like a sharpie? But you're using, she's using pencil. Uh, you, just, you would just make dots, Amanda. Yeah. And if you want it more filled in, just add more paint and keep going with that. And that's how much red I'm going to do. This is the easiest way to paint. I love this. <laughs> and that's my red. Is this fun? Yeah. And then you're going to make sure you have room for your other colors, okay? Oh, I made a small okay. space. I have a small. That's okay. You can just is do that like. Good? A line of each color every time and just make it thinner thinner is that good it's, I don't know. it's amanda's
Can't really see yours. Yeah, it, it works, Amanda. I had to pin her and I could see it. It works. We're going to do more so you'll be able to see it. Okay. And then um, we're going to need orange next for the next one. So that's red and yellow together. And if you still have a lot of red on your plate, just grab some of that, some yellow, and mix them together. I'm going for a light orange so it sticks out more. So more yellow than red. You need a tiny bit of red. So let me do that really quick to show you. We could just mix our yellow into our red if we want, right? Yeah. I put too much red. You can add more yellow to that then to make it lighter. And I'm just gonna use my small or big brush, any brush really to mix the colors together that you have. Just mix, mix, mix. Yeah, and you use just a, a bit of red. And it gave me this orange. Do we need a paintbrush? Um, to mix your colors together, yes, but not for the tree part. To get orange. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a fun orange. You guys can just keep mixing your colors. If, you, if it's too dark, add yellow, too light, add red. You can just have fun with it. I just changed mine three different times. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think I might want mine a little lighter than this. It's a little dark for me. It's too red. Keep adding yellow, girl, and keep stirring it. Yeah, or add white to it, too, if you want it a, like light. Oh, yeah. So. That's true. Then you can make it like peachy. Yeah. Okay. Could we see your picture Bye. again? Yes. My sure picture. Like that. Okay. All right. Thank you. I wish I could okay. put it like right here, maybe. I know, right? <laughs> Katie had her computer like on the side looking down, so we couldn't even see her at all. We just saw her painting. Oh, okay. But I don't know. It's fun both. <laughs> okay. Do all that. A whole day? Yeah, all this down there. Okay. Where do we put the orange? So, if you guys have any <laughs> orange. Finger. Oh, where do you have to work? Let me just mix mine really quick because now it's not orange anymore. Okay. <laughs> so. Is, is this fine? Do you like it? I don't know. Well, make it so you yeah. like it, silly. Looks good to me. It's good. Yeah. Good. Here's my, I mixed it up. Let me see. Maybe this is a better. Yeah, that works perfect, Jack. Okay. This way? I don't know. Yeah, it's great. Well, do it how you want. We'll then turn it after your step. Okay. So you have your red. And then um, we did have our red Q-tips. We're just going to use the other side now for our orange. So smart. And we're going to dip in the orange. Make sure you coat it really good in all of them. Sometimes I miss uh, them. Uh, okay. And then just where the red uh, is, you're just gonna, you can overlap the red a little bit so they blend together and then go ahead and create your own. And I'm just going to do that much. Not too big because I want room for the other colors too. And you don't have to make them all even out. You can make that one a little down here because we are drawing bran branches after. So it'll look cool. So smart. Just keep dabbing, dabbing, dabbing until you like it. That's okay. Maybe, maybe I should do it that way. You can probably just lay it down if you want. <laughs> yeah, that works. Okay, so I have mine. And then Ooh. yellow is next. If you guys are ready, the yellow is next. So you just put it on your plate, some yellow. We're gonna need a new bunch of five Q-tips. A new bunch, because we used both of that one already. Both sides of that one. I'm done with the orange. Perfect, we need yellow now, some yellow paints on your plate now. And if you want a lighter yellow, that whatever you have right now, you can add white to it, make it lighter. It'll make it brighter on your, if you have a darker background and you need it lighter. 
I'm just gonna stick with this. Maybe I'll add a little white so I can see. I want mine to look like butter, so I added white. Yeah, butter. Butter. Yeah, added some white to my yellow. But if you like the yellow, you, whatever came out of the bottle, go for that. And then your new bunch of five Q-tips, cotton swabs. Bunch them up again. And dip it into your yellow. Coat all of that. Coat it all. I think I missed one. Yellow. That's going on where the orange is, right here. Go on top of the orange a little bit so it can blend together. And that's my yellow on there. And as we keep move, um, adding more colors, we're just making it smaller and smaller. But our red was the biggest, kind of. Okay, if you guys have, perfect, I love yours, Maurice. Yep, thank you, it's like a rainbow. Yeah, we're going to do a rainbow tree. <laughs> it's happy, we're all happy. All right, so if you have yellow left over, we're going to need green. So some blue into that yellow to make some green. And I'm only gonna you want a light green or a dark green or? Um, it is up to you. It depends on your background too. If you want it to show, if you have a dark background, I would go lighter green. But I want a light green. So to my yellow, I'm adding just a tiny bit of blue. And mixing that together. And even white, right? If you want it light. Oh yeah, white. I think I'm gonna add more white to mine. I think okay. I just went crazy with my blue. <laughs> and then I need some more yellow. Blue does a lot. Yeah, it does. I just have teal now. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, it's kind of pretty. I can just mix colors all day. I know, it's so fun. All right. Added some white to mine to make it a light green. I'm so in love with my color. I want to paint my whole house this color. Ooh. So Do it. Do it right now. Right now. Forget the paint <laughs> And then, of course, the other side of your yellow bunch of Q-tips. We're going to dip that into your green. Make sure you coat all of them. I keep Q-tipping my fingers. And then right where your yellow is, go for it. But don't make it too long. You want it now to gradually get smaller. For your yellow to blend it a little bit. That's my green on there. You can kind of see it. And then we're done with that bunch. So I get to use the other side. And now we're on to blue. So I know our background is blue, so you can go dark blue if you have a light brown, whatever blue you want really, you can mix your own color blue. So I just have this blue. I think I'm gonna add white until I like what color I like for my blue. If you wanna make it darker, would you add black to it? Maybe? Um, I don't know, I've never tried that. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Ooh, try it, be adventurous. I'll be the science experiment. All right. 
Okay, and I add blue Ooh. and white to my plate. And now I'm gonna mix it to see what blue I want. Oh yeah, I went like super navy. Oh, navy, that's cool. I just did like a little bit of black and it went real dark, it's cool. Okay. I like my blue, I don't know if I want more white. Hmm. <laughs> my background is very light, so I don't know. But I think I'm gonna stick with this. And of course, your last bunch of Q-tips. Bunch them up. Can't hold it. Dip it into your blue paint. Get all the tips. I keep missing one. I'm not holding it even. And there you go. Where your green is on top of your green a little bit to blend it. Don't make it too big either now. We're going small. That's my blue on mine. Can I do purple now? Yeah, if you're ready. And the next last color of your tree will be purple. So red and blue together. I already have some blue and red on my plate, so I'm gonna try to mix this together and see what happens. You can add white to it if you want a very light purple. So let's see. I think I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of red to this blue. See what happens. Oh, so red and blue to make purple. Mm -hmm. I want mine a little bit lighter. Add some white. so fun to watch colors come together when you mix it. I know. It's like, it doesn't look like it will turn out, but it does after I you. I think I made brown. I almost did too, Gabby. I got to put my red in. <laughs> I was just thinking mine looks like gray or brown. So I got my red. Got more to do. <laughs> I do not want brown. I it's did. not a rainbow color. Put some more colors in then. Put more red, put more blue, let's see what happens. Do you mind music on? Yeah, that's why I turned mine off. <laughs> and that's the purple I went with. Let's stick with that's it. cool. Yours is so pretty. Mine is so gray. <laughs> Mine's almost turning into purple. Nope, not mine. It's oh, King too brown. <laughs> You can start over and mix it again and add probably more blue than red. I don't know, or more red than blue. Just experiment, <laughs> keep adding and adding. A vision of the one that I see. And when you guys have your purple, the other side of your yeah. blue, <laughs> then you can the other side. <laughs> Dip it in there. And for this one, we're going to do um, the tip of the tree. So go ahead and just go with the blue really quick like that. And then we're gonna go very small and that's the tip of the tree. Yeah, that one's done. And that's what it's going to look like. That's cool. Like a wine bowl. Yeah. My tree is going to get bigger. I know. Yeah, keep going. If you go for a bigger tree, go for it. If you want to add more to what you have, just grab your bunch of Q-tips, dip in that color, add more. If you feel like you need to fill it in more, 
I kind of want more red, but I, I don't know. <laughs> That's cool. Well, we just have one more step after this. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. I cannot believe it. I hate, got, got some pain on my fingers. Oh, that, looks so that looks so good, Savannah. I know, I do too, Maurice. <laughs> happy, no. But it comes I off so that's good. Yeah, I Q-tipped myself more than my paper, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a tear for that one. <laughs> I think a little bit more red. Yeah, hmm. I think I put a little more orange on it. Yeah, add more orange if you want to. Adjust your painting now, so, and then um, after we will do our tree branch and the stem, or what is the trunk? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's cool. Hello, Rainbow. She's like a leather con. <laughs> Let me see. I'll hold it up. That's cool. <laughs> Is everyone done with this right now? There's still some people. I got my done. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to get up and just dump here. I think you're frozen. Oh, there you go. Frozen? No, Todd was. I think he was trying to show it, and I'm like, you're frozen. Nice, Todd. I got my done. Perfect. That's great. <laughs> it's not complete yet. Just yet. <laughs> it's a floating rainbow. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning. Nice work, Charles. I saw that. All right, I'm done. <laughs> By the time we get out of quarantine, you guys, we're all going to have our own, like, private art galleries in our houses. <laughs> all our <laughs> art projects. We're going to have to wallpaper the wall with all these things. <laughs> Good mine. I'm so good, Jim. <laughs> Glad you're here, friends. <laughs> Cute. You're welcome, my friends. It's peaceful. Hey, show me a picture. She's got it up, Cindy. Oh, okay. <laughs> right next color. <laughs> it's just the six colors: red, orange. Yellow, green, green, purple. Green. Yeah, that's cool. oh, green. 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 It's the rainbow, but also you can do it however you want. Yeah. Really? You want some pink in there? Go. Look. It's green. Red and white. And purple. I no, green, 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 and purple. Green, green, and purple. <laughs> you didn't have all the right colors, did you? Nope. 
That's the fun part about art. Do whatever works for you. <laughs> uh, what? Cindy. Mm. You can't find purple. Uh, oh, I have purple. Oh, yeah. Hi, Roy. Let's see it. Oh, I love it. Nice job. It looks really good. Who's still working? Raise your hand if you're still working on your tree, on your rainbow. Brandon's still working. My Jason's still working. Hermanda, okay, cool. Good, keep working. Let's see it, Steph. I like that. It's mine. Nice, Mel. Beautiful, Shauna. Oh, cool, Shauna. Nice, Steph. So cool. You guys are doing great stuff. Show them if they want that. You can be very careful. Well, let's get to that page. What did you say, really? <laughs> Into that page. We keep muting because you guys are having your side conversations and then it takes over the whole thing. Um, okay, well, we can mute it. Well, yeah, it's just if you're going to be chatty to each other, but then if you're just hanging out, you don't have to. <laughs> Sonia's still going. Jason's still going. Hermanda, how you doing, babe? Still going? Okay. Let's see it, Katina. Spinning around. Oh boy. Look good. I love it. Love you. Love you more. <laughs> Nice, Rolly. I'm done. Sorry, sorry to tap this thing when my fingers are, are painting. That's okay. So I think it's just Sonia and nice, Brandon. Oh, Sonia made it. Awesome, Sonia. Good, good, good. You guys ready for the last step? Yeah, we're ready, baby. Big brush, and you mm -hmm. still have your black yeah, paint right from earlier. Mm -hmm. If you need more, go ahead and add more to your plate. Black paint. Big brush. Big brush, black paint. Wait, I'm washing tonight. I'm going to just Just the tip of your big brush into the black paint again. We're going to go for the trunk now. Brush, man. We'll go from the black hill. We're just going to curve it up into the tree. Just like that. What color? Is the tree branch black or brown? She's making a line, a black line. Uh, I'm half black, but you can do brown if you want. Okay. Yeah. Artistic freedom. Yes. 
And if you want the trunk part thicker, just go ahead and make it thicker. I'm making it just a tiny bit thicker. Are you supposed to put the trunk through your colors? Yes. Yeah. You're sure? Yes. I don't think so. Yes. All the way up to the tip of the rainbow. You can see on Jack's screen. And then you can start drawing in your branches. So I'm just gonna like from your trunk, just randomly go ahead and draw some little branches in there. I would do the, the smaller, smaller brush. How little branches. And if yeah, if you want to use your small brush, you can do that. Um, I just like the tip of the big brush. It makes it thin. If you just paint from the tip of the brush. Oh, okay. I, I do that with black. Just adding branches wherever you want it to go. It's going down. Let's see. So. I know. I can't see Jack. Okay. She's in there. Swipe till you find her. And just keep going with your branches. You can add as little or as much as you want. Long branches, short. Let's go. Random branches on mine. I'm done, Jack. Ooh, let me see. Yes, that's so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Hold it, Momo, so I can take a picture. All right, here we go. One, two, three. I love it. it looks so good. Good work. Yeah, thanks, Jen. You're welcome. Whenever you guys are ready for your picture, let me know. Yeah, and that's um, all the branches I'm going to put, but go ahead and go crazy if you want. Oh, Charles is ready. Oh, hold on. Coming in. Let me find you, Charles. Hello. Oh, I love it. Okay, hold tight. Peek out around the side so I can see your face. There it is. Oh, I love it. Yes. Got it. <laughs> Thank you. And because you are your own artist here, you can sign your name at the bottom. With like yellow or something, right? Yellow or orange? <laughs> yellow, white. Your initials. <laughs> and then you have your rainbow flowing tree. Woohoo! Are you done, Janie? Oh, Steve's done, I think. I'm going to show us. Looking good. Oh, you're getting there. Keep going. Looks so good. You can see your Steven. You have to look at the camera more. Look at the wood. So Annie's done. Oh, mine is very different. Oh, yeah. That's, That's what what we're we're still all yours. Let me find you, Rolly. Hold yours up for me, Rolly. That's oh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Oh, I love it. Smile. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Annie, I'm coming for yours again. No, stop. Lean over so I can see your face. Lean over, Annie. Come on, get your face in there. Come on, there you are. Smile. <laughs> Oh, two. Okay, eyes over the top. No, no, Perfect. No. They look great. Good job. Sure. Okay. 
Oh, Gabby's is done. Okay, I'm coming for you, Gabby. Peek out around the side. Oh, yeah. Peek out. Where's your little face? I'm not taking the picture until I see your face. We'll sit here all day. There you are. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Michael Keeley, I'm coming for you. Okay, smile. Looks awesome. Good work. Okay, Katina, here we come. Yes. Love it. Good job. I love you. Love you, Mark. I love you anymore. I doubt it. <laughs> oh, it's so cute, Janie. I think I can oh. it. Wait, I'm coming for Kyosh and then I'm coming for Janie. Where's yours, Martha? Ooh. Come on, show us yours too. Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> Family portrait. Oh, so good. Oh, Kyoshi, so hold good. yours up too. Hold them up and peek out together. Okay, peek out together. Adore. Oh my gosh. Family family uh, studio time. I love it. <laughs> so cute. All right. Who was I coming for next? Oh, Janie. That's right. All right, Miss Janie, show me your face. There we go. Perfect. So cute. <laughs> All right. Oh, now Gabby's got her whole face out. <laughs> Let it try, okay? Just because it still works. You do awesome work. That's kind of cool. But, um, just... Nice work, everybody. Jack, you're such a good teacher. Thank you. Yeah, I hope everyone had fun. I'm done, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we did.